Good morning. It's Thursday, August 31st. I'm the Cajun Bell. Show you every day what a full-time reseller sells on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Just eBay and Poshmark today. I have some good sales, so <laughs> you hear my son talking to the dogs. <laughs> All right, first up is a palette liquidation item. It's just a faux fur ink vest thing. It's like a faux fur vest. I'm almost out of these, finally going to get rid of them. Um, I make $11.94 all in on that. So still making money on those at least, but I am so ready for them to get out of here. They're just taking up room. I'd love to see them go. Anytime I relist them, they seem to start selling. So those that stay on top of it and keep relisting them. I had a lot of them. Not really much to say about that. Had it forever. Had it for like two years at least at this point. But that is the way liquidation goes. You get a bunch of the same stuff and you sell off a bunch of it really quickly and then it takes forever for the rest of it. So be forewarned if you're gonna do liquidation, that is the name of the game. You will sit on stuff forever. But you do make your money back pretty quickly. I was making my money back in a month, so it's fine. Everything is just profit after that. But I do that thrifting too. I do that in pretty much any way I resell, so. All right. Now on to normal stuff. I had a bunch of boxes today. A bunch of boxes. Got three of them down here. First up is this Andrew Mark vest. It's a puffer vest. Got it for a dollar. I got two, two jackets that sold yesterday for the ones that I got for a dollar. Now, this brand is nothing special. Definitely not some brand you want to look out for, but I mean, it's a dollar. And it's something that has a little bit of something to it. It's an okay pickup. It sold for $21.41, only took a week. Honestly, I thought this would be around forever. So I was perfectly fine with taking a lower offer on it because I knew it was something that could sit for a long time if I didn't. So fine with me at a dollar, sold for $21.41 in one week. And at a dollar, I make $16.55. So, there you go. And that's an easy one to list. I like listing coats. I don't like how bulky they are because they take up so much room and I have to hang them in my closet instead of putting them in the shed. But I do like how fast they are to list. And, I mean, I never had coats sit for too long. They've always sold pretty quickly. Of course, I'm careful in what I pick up, but except in this case when everything was a dollar. I'm not as careful when it's a dollar. Because <laughs> I know I can take a low offer and still make really good money on it. I'm ready. And then another box. So many boxes. I figure out where I'm going to put them all. This is a pair of shoes, a pair of sandals, cute sandals, Mephisto sandals. They're like the fisherman type sandal that do very well. Um, Mephisto can do okay. I have definitely seen where it is going down in value recently. Um, like the Birkenstock types type sandals definitely do not fetch as much as they used to 25 bucks maybe if you're lucky but this is a different style so i did look them up to make sure that they had a good sell through and a good sales price which they do so i would say mephisto if you are shopping at a regular goodwill like i do and your average price is seven dollars i would say mephisto is something that you want to definitely look up and make sure it's going to hit the price that you're looking for because 
there is a glut of the open, like, the Birkenstock type sandals. So, not these type, but the Birkenstock type ones. I know all that because I wear those. <laughs> and I like the Mephisto brand more than the Birkenstock ones. So, and I can usually send an offer to a seller for about 25 and get them easily. So, sold for 40 in two and a half months and my cost is seven. So I make 28, 31 on those. So that's not bad at all. We're good with that. Next is a Bolo brand. Definitely a Bolo brand. This is a really nice brand. And I only paid a dollar for it. Y'all know I love that. <laughs> this is Shot. Shot Brothers. Shot. S C H O T T. And this is a beautiful merino wool sweater. It's really thick. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. You cannot go wrong with something like this. I just, oh, I love it. And I think it was a good size. Yeah, it's extra large too. So like, it is everything. <laughs> very, very happy about finding that one. I did look up the this brand in leather jackets this morning just to see you know how they do because I, this is definitely a brand I would pick up on the used market and evidently it's easy to find because there is a lot I don't know how I'm gonna pack this there is a lot of them available I was shocked at how many leather jackets are available the ones that are selling the best that I could see were the bombers type leather jackets and I'm talking about used there's 5,000 of them available and only 200 is sold so not a great sell through on this brand still it's a high quality brand so it's still a brand I would pick up and maybe price lower maybe price only at a hundred um, a lot of the um, a lot of them were priced at like two three hundred so just, if you're gonna pick it up, know that you're gonna get 100 for it, or maybe even less, maybe 80 or so, if it's not a bomber or a moto jacket and it's leather. So, be forewarned. Still a great brand. You know, it's high, high quality, expensive brand, but it is a brand that you can sit on if you're pricing it too high. So, just forewarning about that. This old, this is new with tag, so it's a little different, and it's a newer style. It's still on their website, so it's going to sell a little bit better than the average thing. $78 in one week, and I only paid a dollar for it, which is ridiculous. So I make $63.50 on it. Love to see it. Such a good sale. Alright. Pair of commando leggings. Did take a low offer on these because these are not as popular as the regular faux leather ones. And then because y'all have seen me, y'all have seen me sell the faux leather ones for 50 recently. And then a pair of flare neoprene ones for 50 recently. These I sold for 30 because it's commando. It's it's a snake skin. It's something that's a little more out there. Size small. It's a pair of leggings. You know, I've talked about leggings before. Leggings are just not it anymore. So still a great brand to pick up. It still fetches $30. So I'm still gonna pick it up. It's just, I know that it's not gonna get what it used to. It used to be, you'd pick up a pair of commando pants and they would just like sell outright quick, you know, within days they would sell. I don't even think it would take days. <laughs> they would sell for a great price. And they're just not there anymore. Probably because more people have them at this point. 
you know. Anyway, we sold them in two weeks, so that's great. I'm fine with that. And they sold for 30. It might cost us six on those. So I make 18.96. So right where I want to be. Perfectly good with that one. And these are going to Hollywood. Fancy pants. All right. Another box. <laughs> Another box. <sighs> Goodness. Adriana Papel. Now, y'all have heard me talk about this brand a million times. This is, you, I think you can find this brand every time you go to the thrift store. I am not an expert on Adriana Propel by any means. I do not know this brand. So, I only pick it up when I'm shopping at liquidation stores. It would have to be something like really special and ornate and lots of sequins and stuff like that for me to pick it up at a regular Goodwill. And it's because of my own lack of knowledge there more so than you know that it's not a great brand so used usually i get about 40 dollars for it now this one is special this is beautiful it's like a tuxedo dress in this beautiful red color this is a gorgeous dress this is so pretty and it is new with tags so that does add some value to it but the norm used ariana Adriana Papel. I'm going to get about 40, 30 to 40 dollars. So, depending on the amount of sequins and how ornate it is, if it's a long dress, all those things, I will still pick it up, but I am more likely to leave it than pick it up, honestly. And that's my own fault. That is my own because I don't know formal as well as a lot of people do. Just not my specialty, even though I pick up a lot of it. I just feel like I don't know, like, what's popular and what's not. I have no idea. Anyway, this one sold in two weeks, so that is excellent. Sold for $63.99, which is also perfect, and I paid six for it. So I made $40.99 in two weeks, so that's great. Love that. Definitely a saturated brand though. And that's probably why I leave it behind a lot too. Like I said, I mean, you can pretty much walk into any Goodwill at any time and find this brand. It's just so, there's so much of it out there. It's like Alex Evenings, you know, you just, it's always out there. It seems like to me, at least in my area, it always is. I'm not very talkative today. What's wrong with me? I don't know. I'm gonna go shopping in a little while. I'm gonna do like boring shopping. Though. I'm not doing fun shopping. I gotta go to Walmart, get groceries, and run errands. I am gonna stop at the my local dirt cheap and just see what they have in there because I'll be in town and you know, it's on my way to go to Walmart, so why not? I gotta go to the post office thanks to all these boxes. So I try to make it Trying to make it worth my trip, you know. You have to go to the post office. I have one of those big, huge roll mailboxes, so I just usually put all my packages in there. This is not all going to fit in there, so I got to go to town today. So there you go. Going to make it worth the drive at least. Get some stuff done. This is a three pack of hanky panky underwear. I think I've sold a lot of these in the last week, huh? They've been doing well for some reason. I don't know if they're trending or what. It's just three of them. It's just the same ones. It's another pair of blue ones. And then there's a pair of green ones. And I've talked about this before that I get them at the Dillard's Clearance Center for really cheap. And I will pick them up when I can find them really cheap. These were a dollar a piece, so super cheap. And then I will lock them up in the same sizes and the same styles. They seem to do okay. So, they sold for $25 and a 
23 in three months. It's not terrible. I make $18.50 on those. It's not bad. I got a lot to do, y'all. Y'all notice how, how low the pile's getting? All I have left is jeans on here, pants, pants and jeans, pants and jeans. I'm so excited to get the rest of the stuff listed. I can move on with my life. Get some sweaters. Start listing my sweaters. I'm very, very excited to do my sweaters. All right, last sale is the only sale on Poshmark. It is a Madewell dress, so y'all know it's not going to get a lot because it's made well. Sometimes it will. Usually it won't. I did get this. It's a size large at least. And I did get this at the liquidation store when they were letting me fill the baskets up for $5. So I just threw it in there because, you know, you're paying so little for it at that point. So technically I only paid $0.10 cents for this, which is stupid low. <laughs> I have six dollar cost of goods though because as i've told you before that is my average so that's what we're going with sold in two weeks this is a cute dress i should have tried it on although i don't need any dresses so <laughs> i should have tried it on anyway though anyway 25 dollars is what it sold for which is you know what i expected i did not expect much for that one i figured when i got home and i looked it up it wasn't going to be anything special but sometimes you never know obviously if i would have been in the thrift store i would have definitely looked it up so i made 14 dollars even on that one and it sold in two weeks so not bad you know and the main objective whenever I was filling those baskets up was, you know, if there's something that's low, it's not going to get a lot of money, at least make it worth it. You know, something that's really cute and has good details and know that you can price it a little bit lower, which is what I did. Get it sold quickly. And I'm lowering the overall cost of all of this stuff that I had bought. So I like that fact too. Had I not had that happen that day, you know, my overall cost would probably be around 10 or maybe even more at this point. So there you go. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I gotta go do stuff. So I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. Y'all have a great weekend. It's the end of the month. So get those offers out because people are buying. Bye, y'all.